Hi guys, and thank you for hitting the trail with Cletus today. Today we're in Steelville, Missouri, at a place called the Bass River Resort. And we're of course camping out tonight in the camper once again. We brought the bikes, got the kayaks here with us tonight, and uh, spending some time down here in the beautiful, gorgeous Mark Twain National Forest. So stay with me. Stay with me. Steve's already got supper on the stove. Awesome. Now that's a steak. Yeah. We're going to have a great supper tonight. Looking good. Yum. An amazing spread it is. Wow. It's going to be one awesome supper. Thanks, guys. It's going to be great. Good morning, guys. It's day two, and we're going to head out on a 7.4-mile loop trail right out here at Berryman. And um, it's going to be a great time, so be sure to stay with us. It's my goal uh, with this video to try to reach 100 subscribers. So if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to the channel. And we're going to begin our trail right here at the Berryman Ozark Trailhead. So at the start of the trail, we're it's about 9.30 and uh, cloudy, about 62 degrees actually right now. And uh, looking forward to this and the beautiful scenes along the way. All right, here's where you get to make a decision on what direction to go. Ozark Trail North, Ozark Trail South, or Berryman Trail West Leg. So for the loop portion that we're going to do, we take the Ozark Trail North toward Harmon Spring. And, of course, along periodic trees, you'll see the BT loop tag to know that you're heading in the right direction. And, of course, still on this section, the Ozark Trail marker. Just, uh, so far, very well marked and uh, very easy to see. And we actually have a creek crossing where it's not with uh, running water whenever we were at the Red Cedar Trail in Southern Illinois, every creek crossing we had was flowing water, had to get our feet wet, so we have a lot better conditions this time. One cool fact about the Mark Twain National Forest is there's actually black bears out here, and uh, you probably won't encounter one, but just be aware that they are here. And uh, so when you're traveling the trails, see any bear signs, just watch out. The parts of the trail can be pretty rocky, so you just got to make sure you don't step wrong, twist an ankle, anything like that. And we've came up here to our second fire road that you can see goes both directions. And of course, if you cross it, it comes right up here to the trail sign, which you can still says BT. So we are gonna continue this direction. We are now at 
five mile on the Berryman Trail Loop. Here in a minute, we'll probably take a break for some lunch. We find a nice little spot. And another fire road crossing here. Still says the uh, BT right there. And we believe we're going to come to a road that we do have to take a turn on. But this particular road is 2608. So we are going to continue straight down this path right here. All right, we've decided to stop for lunch. And uh, just got a nice log to sit on there. Nice place to hang the packs. And of course, I probably haven't, didn't mention that, of course, you have like zero signal out here if you've got a phone or you, or you uh, anything like that. So if you have a satellite phone, I'm sure you would have good signal, but not on a normal phone. So we did grab a map. We just didn't reference it soon enough. Um, we took off right here from the campground and made our way past these roads here. Now, as you can see, they tell you that the, you know, like if you're looking at all trails or something like that, it's going to say FS2266A, but on the signs out here, it's going to sign it as FS, whichever road you're looking at. So this one's 2607. This one here is 2608, and that's the one we just recently had passed. Um, so we're probably somewhere right about here. And instead of backtracking back to this road, we're going to go see if we can catch this road here. All right, just finished lunch, back on the trail. And of course, we're hoping we see this road and we don't miss it. Okay, we have now come to our non-marked fire service road. So according to our map, we will need to hang a right instead of continuing on the trail through here. This is... Um, uh, a big loop trail it'll take you 26 miles uh the berryman loop trail we're just trying to turn it into a shorter trip for today so we're going to use an access road to cut back over and uh, make our way back around the loop continuing on the fire service road here uh, this should connect us to berryman road and then that road will take us back to the campground parking lot where our vehicles are. And this is Berryman Road. So this is where it will take us back to the campground. So right here is the road we should have came out on. 2608. Well, I don't know if you can see the sign from here, but we can see that we are now making our way back to the campground. We've walked about, I'd say two miles down this rocky road here. All right, guys, we made it back to the trailhead and we did a total of right around nine miles and it was just a great trail. Um, this particular trail, I was expecting maybe we, we would see some rocky over looks or something like that so this trail doesn't have any of that but it is a lot of um, very nice uh, well-marked trail so if you're just looking for some exercise and being out in the woods this would be a great trail to try you can also mountain bike it and it says they also allow horses thank you for watching guys for more great biking hiking and kayaking videos click right down here and if not already please become a subscriber right up here see you later